have you guys seen that that uh, Key and Peele sketch where it's like I forgot what it's called, but it's like um, he's like he's like the it's like the sequel consultant. So it's like a, it's like this, the uh, the sketch is like a, a, a sort of a boardroom where they're coming up with the script for Gremlins two. You got okay. it's like it's probably like two minutes two minutes long. If you if you, uh, if I got you I got you it. I got you. But it's you. dude, it's so uh, good because it's like in the eighties and nineties. It was like this is pretty accurate. Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm wondering if this is it. Let's see, yeah. because I love Key and Peele, right, when they were doing the sketch. Thing, Jordan Peele like, is sort of a very kind of, um, now nah, this, no. oh, th okay, this is like a compilation. I'll see if, I'll see if I can find, I'll see if I can find it. Um, it'll be in there. Hang on, just keep going, keep going, keep what going. What does it, what does it look like? They're, they're in a boardroom. There you go. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 there you go. All right, this is what you want, but you can have only one. I think this one but is, uh, Will Smith's son. Two. So it's the next yeah, one. Yeah, but, but I mean, he, he can't have both. What I say about science fiction, Clyde, it's a no. I think I've gone too far. Hold on. Okay, we'll pass. You did go go forward a little bit. <laughs> no, no, forward, Dad, forward bless you. Bit. Thanks. Oh, okay, cool. guys. No, that's back with you. Yeah. Gremlins. So that that's the sketch. I'm telling you, this movie. We yeah. just need to and all. Yeah, go to the, the beginning. Yeah, yeah. First one was a classic. This should be pretty straightforward. Basically. Okay, we'll pass. I think I was on the right track. Dad, bless you. Thanks. Okay, guys. There we go. Here Gremlins two. I'm telling you, this movie <laughs> should by itself. First one was a classic. This should be pretty straightforward. Basically, all we're doing is maintaining the integrity of the original picture. We want to do all the stuff with the water and the. Uh, let me help you. I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. Hi, y'all. My name is Star Magic Jackson Jr. <laughs> I'm the Hollywood sequel doctor. So, studio just brings me in to oversee things when they're about to drop a deuce. So, that's why I'm here, but don't mind me. I'm just going to be over here. Y'all do your thing. It's your movie. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's bring to Adam. Uh, it's going to take place in an office building. I was thinking, what if uh, Gizmo gets wet from the water cooler this time? Okay, hold on a second. I'm sorry. I'm going to step in here. Just one second. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Y'all looking like a bunch of sad sacks. This is G2, people. We're writing Gremlins 2. It should be a party with pizza, and anchovies, pineapple. Just come on, lift up the spirits. Look, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of spice in the mixture here. What if we did this? Everybody here needs to design their own gremlin. Um, I, I don't see that the uh, gremlin design is broken. It's called brainstorming. I'm brain drizzling, sweet pea. Okay, <laughs> shut your mouth for a second. Look, here's the thing. None of this is final. So you mean like, what if there's like a brainy gremlin? A brainy gremlin. You talk about a gremlin with glasses who could talk and sing New York, New York. That's what we're gonna be done. You should have talked about the words brainy and gremlin in the same sentence together. It's done. I love it. You sing the movie next. What about a uh, spider gremlin? He's a gremlin with eight legs and a whole rack just catching pretty ladies in a web in an office building. Oh my god, it's in the movie. I love it. Next. What about a bat gremlin? You need a gremlin with leathery wings just flying around, flip flops, and bubbles, perfect bats, and little walking outside, and some wet concrete. I love it. It's perfect. I'm gonna be with gas now. I love it. It's in the movie next. Could there be a female gremlin? Lipstick boobies, bitch. You have me in little gremlin and Jay. It's not only in the movie, but it's definitely in the movie. There's no bats on that one. Nothing happens. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we need a woman in the writers' room. Next. I don't know. Is we like gremlin? You know, because you talk about Gremlin, his whole purpose in this film is that he looks stupid as <laughs> Yes, it can be in the movie, and it is in the movie. Done. Next. Yes. What about you, Superfly? Uh, electricity Gremlin? You sit down and Gremlin don't get She's like a child. You have a brain that's higher. You do not have a high IQ, but you have passed the up with a Gremlin that's just made out of bolts that is zigzagging all over the room and is done completely in animation. You're a crazy person, and the idea is in the movie. Done. Next. Uh, you want to put the Hulk in it? What? Yeah. You're talking about putting Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Professional wrestler, turned actor, turned cultural icon in the movie where he breaks the fourth wall of the movie he's in by talking to the audience. You, sir. <laughs> 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 That's it. I don't even care anymore. We got the Hulkster in this bit, so it's done. I don't have any more time. So let me just recap right now. It's Brainy Gremlin, Spider Gremlin, Back Gremlin, Lady Gremlin, Booty Eye Gremlin, Electricity Gremlin, Hulk Hogan, Gomi, Bitch, Hulk Hogan, Gremlin, Myself, Vegetable Gremlin. Just write it out. I'm having so much fun. Thank you. It's all going to be an actual film. Now I got to go put some Cowboys back to the Super 3. Sign out, y'all. That is funny, but I actually still like Gremlins too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I didn't. Oh, man. And the dumbass Electricity Gremlin? I haven't the way they end the film. <laughs> I haven't, to be honest. I I don't think I've seen it since like I first saw it on VHS. Right. Then, and um, I don't, you know. And then the fact he's naming all those, I'm like, I remember them now. Yeah, you know, I didn't like. I've got a I've got a Gremlin plushie there somewhere, and it was like the green thing, you know. Uh, but that's crazy, and I've always wanted. Well, that was that was sort of like the you know sequels in the eighties and nineties, right? They were just like you know forget less is more now, you know, right? more is more just check it in yeah. you know uh scale it up bigger what if, you know yeah what if thor crazy. is female now right yeah. what if Iceman is gay now what is like what a century if we do a live action century with steven ewan who's korean now you know apparently he's out uh, apparently he's yeah. out 
Yeah, I'm glad about that because I'll that's yeah. basically the uh, sequel ideas for Fast and Furious. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, no, yeah. And more actors. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched a, a like a Fast and Furious movie since like two. You know, I or like I've maybe two go drift. But I, I recently saw some clips from Ten with John Cena, oh, yeah. and I was like, "What is happening? <laughs> this guy's got like a rocket oh, car. He's like yeah, launching yeah, himself oh. up, like with the rocket. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness! Let's gosh. go to space now. It's an abomination That's, now. You know what the next uh, one will be though, Rex? <laughs> they meet aliens. Oh, they have to meet <laughs> aliens because they went into space last time. So they do, have do you to think? Do you think they're gonna go there? Do you think they're gonna go yeah. there? Oh, robots. They've got to get robots. Could they meet Riddick? <laughs> oh, crossover. They, oh, dude. So he does two. He two does dual, two yeah, paychecks. two roles. Dual <laughs> yeah. But I am looking. I love Riddick. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, that's a, that's, Riddick's a weird series, right? Like, it's like, it's very, it's sort of very like, kind of camp and full on. But, like, it's actually, yeah. kind of, I kind of like it. You know, your yeah. bitch black is great. Yeah. Which back is awesome. Like the first, like even like the one bef because they remade it, right? But like, um, but the original, like when you did yeah, that yeah. one, that was really good. And like, like you see that whole uh, original idea and now what it is now, right? But I mean, I think, you know, um, oh man, I like, I mean, there is a joy of being living in this generation where you get more uh oh, yeah. and you get all this fantasy te fantastic technology like i'm looking at look i'm looking at this right and i'm looking at um where are we the dark this is the director's cut so so you got 2020 2049 right uh, that way and then you've got the original right and because of um technology you get all this amazing stuff that's happening in this i think that's one of the best story. sequels ever made by the way yeah exactly because they i mean this is my number one film of all time all time that's your favorite that's your number one that's, that's your favorite. yeah one. okay and so and then when this came out i was happy with that i was like yeah this is cool now the other thing is you've got everybody remembers total recall Ooh. and then you had this come out i can give a take on this one but i did enjoy that nice. one right <laughs> and the reason for that is philip k dick is one of my favorite uh, sci-fi writers you know, and you know, um, he's that, got that Total Recall remake was bizarre because it's like just two different films altogether. Right. I missed it. Yeah, I missed this. I missed the second one, the one with um, Colin.